Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adeze and I'm a YouTuber based in Port Harcourt, Nigeria. If you're new to this channel, if you're seeing my face for the first time, you are highly welcome. I appreciate you. Uh, consider joining the family and if you are a returning subscriber, you guys are my real fam. Thank you so much for always clicking on my videos and always coming back. So today's video is just a laid back fun video. I want to know how many people can relate. Am I that weird? I want to tell you guys weird facts about me. I think I have about 15 or so. I was able to think of, you know, <laughs> there might be more, I don't know, but also know how many people can relate, if you can't relate, okay, but if you can relate, just let me know in the comment section that I'm not alone, no, all of us belong to the same, you know, group and all that. So yeah, the number one weird fact about me is I don't know much about cars or designers or stuff like that, like for instance, if someone comes to me now with an expensive, you know, gengen car, me, I don't know. If you like, say, oh, my car is the latest, means this J G7, waiting, waiting. I don't know. All I know is that it's either your car is fine or your car is ugly, okay? So there are some really expensive cars that I see and they are ugly to me, okay? So even if they dash me the car, I will not appreciate it. While there are some cars that might be less expensive, but they are fine to me, and I like it, okay? So that is with me about cars. The same thing about designers. I don't know which one is which. All oh, this LV, Gucci, this one, I don't know. All I know is the dress is beautiful or the dress is ugly, okay? And I've noticed that a lot of these designers are actually ugly to me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. A lot of them, well, not, not a lot, but some of them that I see, um, things like some Gucci outfits, especially the ones that have their brand logos on them, things like Fendi, things like Gucci. They are ugly to me. I don't know which one is which, okay? So if you come to me with your latest this, this, this car, with your outfits from head to toe, wearing the most expensive designer brand, if you come to me, I will just greet you and pass. I don't know which one is which, okay? So yeah, that is one weird fact about me. Is it weird? I'm sure I'm not alone, Shai. I'm, not, I'm sure I'm not alone. I just know fine and ugly. I don't know about brand names. That is why I can wear Okrika. As long as it's fine and the cloth is not torn, it is it's looking new. I can wear Okrika. I can also wear the you know most expensive designers as long as it looks good. Okay, yeah. So the number two weird fact about me, this is actually very hilarious, is that <laughs> when I want to spell exercise, I still sing a song in my head to spell it. Like I don't, I can't just write exercise, just exercise like that. I have to. Um, you know, spell it, sing it in my head, and the song is. <laughs> I feel very rough for this. If you can remember this song, let me know. The song is Epa Times Epa Rice Carry Isho Shola Enter. Now, there was this book that um, we used to use when in primary school that they had one guy that was was he doing long jump, either long jump or high jump or something on it. It was like an Olympic, yeah, I think Olympic notebook. So they will write Olympic exercise book, okay? So the exercise book, we used to sing Epa Thais, Epa, Rice, Carry, Isho, Shala, Enter, Box Oh, oh, Kola <laughs> So because of that thing, the box, box, oh, oh, Kola is for book So because of that thing, now, I don't know how to spell exercise so If you tell me write exercise, I must sing that song in my head before I can spell it The same thing with um, adding of numbers There are some numbers that I have to count on my fingers, I don't know why I can calculate big numbers in my head though but some little numbers, tell me 5 plus 7, uh, 5, plus, 5 plus 7, okay, 5 plus 7 is a quite, quite easy. But some numbers, Shada, okay, let's say 15 plus 8, okay? Okay, no 15 plus 8. But anyway, all I'm saying is that some numbers that I have to mentally just count on my fingers, okay? Uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, oh, 20, oh, the answer is 20, okay? The same thing with knowing direction. Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes, before I know left and right, I have to mentally look at my hand. Okay, this is left, this is right, this is left, this is right, okay? Alright, so the next weird fact about me is that I have never been to a club, okay? I'll be 31, I'll be 32 years this year, and I have never been to a club, okay? I don't know what happens in the club. Okay, no, let me not have never been to a club. I have entered a club. I went to a club for a for an after party. It was we had a dinner, then went for an after party. So I've gone for an after party, but I didn't stay the whole night. I didn't even that some people are doing there. In fact, I thought like five minutes, I was just like, this place is so loud and all they do here is just drink. Like no food, no nothing. I was like, I'm out of here, sis. I'm out of here, okay? So yeah, that's the only time I've 
enter the club. I've never gone club and like, oh, let's go to the club or not dress up by, you know, whatever in the night and start going out. I've never done it before, okay? Yeah. Um, but that was something I don't want to do though. I want to try. Maybe one day shall I might experience it. Maybe for one of my birthdays, I might just try and go to a club and go and experience it. But to be honest, I don't understand the extremely loud music and why is it late at night. Yeah, so another weird fact about me is that I can arrange my room and sleep on the floor. I used to do it when I was in school a lot. I will arrange my room to the in fact everything will look as if they use ruler to arrange it when i finish arranging the room like that i'll lie down the floor and sleep i will arrange my books eh, arrange them like <laughs> according to height according to you know color coordinate some of them i will arrange my books like that and i won't i won't touch even one i won't read even one if i want to read i'll go and look for one book i usually have like a stack of books somewhere that are not so neat that i can read but you see those neat ones, before I will bring out one and read it, ah, it go <laughs> Yeah, so that's another thing about me. I like, I like arranging places, but I don't like rearranging it, okay? So if I arrange somewhere once, it should just stay like that, okay? But now I really don't care because as I've arranged this bed, in, in two seconds, Cora will come and jump on it, Eva will come and throw my pillow down, so... Right now, I don't do it as much as I used to do it when I was in school, okay? Yeah, also, I used to bath with two soaps, yes? Before... I used to have my bath with two soaps. I still do it now sometimes, but not as religiously as I used to do it before. Before, I used to bath with two soaps. And what I mean by bathing with two soaps is I first do my first bath with a regular soap like Tetmosol or Dettol. It was usually Tetmosol soap or Dettol soap sometimes. Tetmosol, Dettol, or Duzo soap. But I don't really like Duzo soap. I don't know. It dries my skin out too much. But either Tetmosol or Dettol soap, after I have my bath the first time, then I now have my bath the second time using my uh, clear sense soap. <laughs> yes, I second time using my clear sense soap. So if anybody's wondering why I always waste time in the bathroom, that is why I always have my bath twice in one, you know, bath period. Like I have my bath the first one. I I feel like the first soap is to wash off all the sweat and dirt on my body, and then the second one is to beautify my skin. <laughs> so now it's even three soaps because I use face wash differently, even though. As I started having kids, I still started, you know, cropping up. As I started having less time to spend in the bathroom, I just use any soap there and be coming out. Like right now, I don't, I don't use. In fact, another weird fact about me is that I don't use cream. I do not use body cream. You see how people have, like my husband even has his bath, take body cream, rub all over his body before he dresses up. I can't do it. Like the highest I can do is just to rub or read a shea butter or some kind of oil, olive oil on my feet so that my feet doesn't look white or my elbows and my knees so it doesn't look white but you see how people just cool down carry cream and rub from head to toe it's in fact as i'm thinking about this i'm already sweating like i can't do it okay yeah so if you're like me comment down below i do not call my husband or anybody's husband by name yes for my husband, his name is Baby. I don't know what his real name is. That won't concern anybody who knows what his real name is. My husband's name is Baby. His name is Mr. Baby. <laughs> okay? So that's what, that's what I call my husband. In fact, sometimes, Cora or Eva, when they want to call him, they will shout Baby. I'll say, which one is Baby? Cora Cora, that's it's not Baby. But yeah, but for me, I call my husband Baby. I don't know his real name. Then, um, other people's husbands, if you're my close friend and you're watching this, especially if you're married, you realize that this thing I'm saying is fact. I never call people's husbands by their real name. What I will say, like for instance, I'm talking to you, I will say, your hobby, your husband, yeah, what, what does your husband say? You hardly hear me say, for instance, if your husband's name is John, you hardly hear me say, ah, what happened with you and John? Or what did John say? You hardly hear. In fact, if I have to call his name, I must add or guy in front or or guy this or guy that or guy john okay and i will say it playfully but in real conversations if we want to if i'm, if I'm talking with you and we're discussing i always ask you what did your hobby say well, what did you do with your hobby where did you and hobby go oh your hobby is looking good that kind of thing but i'll never just write your hobby's name even if i know it okay except maybe i wanted to say except me and my me and your hobby knew ourselves before you maybe if i knew you through your husband but even at that once i know that it's your husband and i'm talking to you about him i don't call him by his name i don't know whether he's a respecting i don't know what it is though. so nobody look at me like oh she's trying to be i don't know what it is i just don't feel comfortable calling people's husbands by their names okay all right so the next fact about me that's kind of weird is that i have extra large hands <laughs> yeah so i have extra large hands and feet for my body now i'm not a slim person i've said this several times i'm not slim and i'm not short so 
I don't look like it's not it's not like it's so weird but I've seen people who are taller than me I've seen people who are bigger than me who have smaller hands and smaller feet okay my hands are usually the size in fact a lot of men my hands are larger than the men's hands in fact me and my husband's hands are the same size okay and my feet and his feet in fact I think my feet is slightly larger than my husband's feet okay his feet is slightly longer than mine but mine is slightly slightly larger so I can wear his shoes in fact most of my um, sh the shoes I wear to work out are my husband's shoes because we wear practically the same size. So yeah, I've seen people who are taller than me that wear smaller size. My shoe size, I've told you guys before, is size 44 stroke 45. That is size US 13, US 12 or 13 depending on the shoe. So shoes that have things like straps and stuff like that, I have to wear 13. But things that are like open, slippers, um, you know, just barely their sandals, I wear size 12 okay my ring size okay my ring size is size 12 i don't know whether it is yours or whatever but i know that my ring size is size 12 do you know how large that is i also have long fingers i don't know if you guys can see and because of it i don't like fixing long nails i don't even like fixing my nails because my nails are pretty good at the way they are but i don't like fixing not long nails if i fix long nails it will look like claws like if i fix just a little bit if i feel fixed nails are just a little bit long they look like claws because i have long distance from here to here is is quite long okay yeah so you know all these press on nails that people buy i can't buy press on nails because they don't have my size i know it's just 10 okay or maybe 20 but even in that 20 i can't get all my finger sizes there i have to you know get multiples of the larger ones to fit all my fingers so that's another weird but beautiful fact about me yes i consider it beautiful okay <laughs> okay another weird physical fact about me is that i have very 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 strong hair very when i say very strong hair i don't mean that oh she has 4c class hair i mean my hair strands are quite strong right now my hair is due and the difference between my due hair and my relaxed hair is just like night and day like you can see it in fact if i want to cut my hair now if i want to go because at, at first i'm concerned i think i'm even transitioning back to natural if i want to transition if i want to you know big chop now and i want to remove my relaxed hair from my natural hair i don't need to wet my hair just hold the stand like this you will see it my natural hair is very very tightly curled and strong while my relaxed hair is you know relaxed and you know um, straight so you can just cut my hair like this you won't even need any any to wet the hair or look closely to cut it okay so the same thing with my eyebrow hair not just the hair on my head the hair on my legs the hair on my armpits the hair on my eyebrows are very strong okay <laughs> i remember when i said people that have strong eyebrows they'll say no no nah, yeah, yeah that i can't be that strong i remember one time i went to someone that wanted to do my I think she wanted to do my brows also. She now brought her razor blade to cut my eyebrows. Oh um, uh, <laughs> What I was just hearing was cra cra cra. When you're scraping my eyebrows, you just be, you literally be hearing cra cra cra. Okay, so even when she was scraping my eyebrows, she was so shocked that what's happening? Why are your eyebrows sounding like this? Okay, same thing with my eyelashes. Every, every hair that grows out of my body is actually very strong. Okay, yeah. I even use shaving stick to shave my eyebrows. See this, my eyebrows that I, I shave? I use shaving stick. Yes, Gillette. That Gillette blue shaving stick is what i use to carve my eyebrows yes i'm saying it proudly <laughs> okay so another physical one is that i have a lot of best marks all over my body and by best marks i'm talking about this dot i don't know if you guys can see it you see this dot on my body that dot can you guys see it yes i have that dot on my face all over my body i have like maybe up to 50 or 60 of these dots all over my body okay so a lot of them keep coming up as the years go by i keep finding new new ones but yeah i have those birth marks all over my body and i think the person who has taken after me in that sense is ava that's the only thing ava used to resemble me that's the only <laughs> because to be honest sometimes i look at ava and i'm like whose child is this because i don't know you you don't look like me anyway i don't see my face anywhere in ava's face but that's the only thing that i know that okay this is my child those birth marks so when she was born she was born without them but right now she has one here she has one on her nose um she has one on her leg or so and one on her hand so they keep coming up you know as time goes by so god used that one to just tell me to use, just god used that one to just console me that okay she's shy your child shall just take this one and manage okay yeah so that brings me to the last fact about me that is kind of weird you guys i had a smoothie here i'm supposed to be drinking i've talked talk finished since now it's no more cold again mm. so the last weird fact about me is that i still don't know what to do with my life yes i'm 32 i'm 32 this year 
And if you ask me what exactly do you want to do, where do you see yourself in five years career wise? I don't know. I don't, okay? I don't. I'm not I'm not the kind of person who went through life wanting to be this. I want to be this and I'm you know channeling all my goals into being that. I don't know. I wake up the next morning and something else comes up, okay? And yeah, there's this talk by Buzz Loham or something where he said something. He had a poem that is very interesting, and he said something about um, don't worry yourself if you don't if you don't know what to do with your life at 25. That some 40 year olds don't know what to do with their life or something like that. If I can remember the quote, I'll quote it somewhere. Like, don't worry yourself if you don't know what to do with your life at 25 because there's some 40 year olds who don't know what they're going to do with their life and to be honest i think i'm going to be one of those 40 year olds who are still and don't get me wrong it doesn't mean that i am waiting for that magical thing to drop on my last and i'm not say but this is what i want to do with my life no i'm still going to be doing things you know i'm still pushing hard in everything i do like my youtube i'm still pushing hard in youtube but if you ask i told you that you i told you guys that i don't even see myself as a youtuber i don't know there's something that is not just i don't just see myself as a youtuber okay so all I'm trying to say is that I still don't know what I'm going to do with my life. I don't know whether I'm planning to become, you know some people, they have these plans of, oh, I want to be a UN ambassador, I want to be a, a an ambassador to a country, I want to be a senator, I want to be the president, or I want to be this LG CEO, or this, or, I don't know. I do not, I, you know, my husband was trying to figure it out one time with me, he was like, okay, so what is that thing that drives you? I don't know. What is your passion? I don't know. I have several passions. Okay, what is your talent? I don't know. I have several talents so yeah that brings me to the end of this video who can relate if you can relate to anything that i just said please drop it in the comment section i will really 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 love to see your comments and yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all in my next video guys bye